Winnie was a waitress. She worked for tips. Here's a tip. A bad situation generally grows worse. Things which cannot get worse improve. There are exceptions. Here is not one. Winnie caught a guy lifting a tip off her table. Told him, who do you think you are? And she read him out to the onlooking crowd. What sort of, you feeling the blank that he was? Which he was. It turns out this man was a congressman in the election year. He had to keep a shining image in the public eye, which is exactly where he kept it. Would have been better off to be what he wished to seem, but bearing that he took the secondary course, lived like a thief, and made the public pay. Winnie and her son Doug planned a trip to Yellowstone to celebrate his 10th birthday. He'd, as you imagine, look forward to that trip all year, and it was the object of much of their talk and much of their joint happiness. Hey, Winnie, quit dreaming. Table number three wants the check. Could I have the check, please? Here you are. Thank you. See you tomorrow, Winnie. No, you won't, ma'am. Tomorrow, my boy and I leave our vacation. I'll well, see you in two weeks. Where are you going? Yellowstone Park. Oh, that's right. You told me. Here's your little extra. You have a fine trip. That's very generous of you, ma'am. Thank you. Miss. Thank you very much. Miss. I'm coming. Yes, sir? What is the meaning of this? 95 cents for a substitution. You had beans instead of the cream spinach. You never told me that. Yes, sir, I did. You certainly did not. You did not tell me that. Yes, sir, I am certain. You said, I'll have the special. Look, it's not important. If you take the check to the boss, I'm sure that he'll... Well, that's not the point, is it? The point is that you never told me. Well, if that's true, I'm sorry, sir. No. Say you never told me. I think that I apologize. Excuse me. Some people have too much salt in their diet. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second there. You want to put something back? You want to put something back or you want me to call the police? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about you just lifted my tip off that table. Now, you put it back or I call the cops. You're saying? You're saying I did what? Get out of my way. In a pig's eye, I will. Somebody call the cops. Somebody call the cops. This guy took my tip off the... You aren't going anywhere. What's the trouble? This guy took my tip off the table. Lady, you're in a world of trouble here. Well, we're just going to see. What seems to be the trouble? This guy lifted my tip off the table. Not only is it not true, but I want to tell you, you just caused yourself a lot of pain. What's your name, officer? I'm John LaRue. I am the congressman for this district, and this deranged and sick individual has just slandered me. Pick her tip off the table. You know who I am? I am so mighty, everyone should know. I make lots of cash and defeat all my foes. I am strong and a mighty of power. I never back down, I am no coward. This is not Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I'm just saying about how powerful I are. Now, I'll give you one last chance to retract what you said and take back your vicious lie. Or you're gonna wish you were never born. Well, to wish you were never born, you have to be born. Which gives you the option. And I think I'll stick with the truth. You should be ashamed of yourself. Goodbye. What kind of a world is it? That guy should be setting an example. What kind of world is it where people steal tips, taking cars, stealing purses, creating pitless, blackmailing with malicious intent? If they don't get what they want, they get violent. But there's good things in life like Yellowstone Park Where we stare at the birds and the dogs don't bark Where we swim in the oceans without fear of stress And sit down and watch the sunset before dark I got my son 
and I'm leaving my vocation. My day is done, and I'm going on vacation. Time to leave through the forest and see what we can find. Then at night you get to sleep to get peace of mind. I got my son, and I'm leaving my vocation. My day is done, I'm going on vacation. Look at the stars. What a beautiful night it is. Always various. Look at my son. Isn't he gorgeous? And now we have all this vacation time to be alone together. All the rest is basically illusion. And so she fell asleep. And she and her son dreamed the same dream, in which they were in Yellowstone Park, high upon a ridge, upon a summit, looking down. And they saw mountain sheep, and they saw deer, and when the rain came unexpectedly, they made a shelter from a fallen tree. And as in the wild of sleep, and as in the wild of the forest, their cares fell away. And when Winnie awoke, she saw her son, already dressed, sitting at the breakfast table, and he had made her a cup of tea. Good morning. What are you doing up so early? Oh, I couldn't sleep. Why? You worried about school? Shouldn't you be off to school? Well, I thought I wouldn't go to school today. Wouldn't go to school today? Why? Of course, you have to go to school today. Why wouldn't you? Because we're going to Yellowstone Park. Yellowstone. I can't believe we're really going. Have I ever lied to you? No. Well then, there you are. In the other news, Congressman John LaRue offered for re-election. Yesterday was acoustic with a misdemeanor of attempting to defraud of services. Or to put it simply, a waitress at a restaurant he frequents accused a congressman of lifting a tip off her table. Come on, let's get out of here. You know, it's easy to accuse. And I think, by far, the simplest thing would be to let the sick accusation pass and go my way. But there comes a time... Turn that creep off. Let's go to the country. What'd he do? The creep lifted a tip off a waitress' table. Can you believe that? What a life. On to the wilds. Weenie Maggie? I, uh, what is it? Are you Miss Winnie Maggie? I can't talk to you now. We have to catch a bus. Are you Winnie? Yes, but I can't talk. You're under arrest. Will you come with us, please? I... Wait, you can't. What's all this? Slender, malicious, mischief, defamation of character. Will you please? Who? What? What are you doing with my mother? She insulted a congressman, kid. But we we just have to mention you got the bus. And we're going to Yellowstone. What is this? What's going on here? You are accused of wantonly, maliciously, and with malice of forethought, having verbally assaulted, insulted, and impugned the character of one John LaRue, congressman for the 7th District Hold of on a second. I insulted- You have no voice in this court. Would you please, who is your counsel? Say that again. Who's your lawyer? I don't have a lawyer. Why should- What's going on here? Come on, I have to catch a bus. You are accused by the congressman here of, in simple terms, of lying about him in such a way as to damage his reputation. Ah. When you said that he stole your tip. He did steal my tip. The court will now appoint you a lawyer. I don't need a lawyer. I don't want one. Let's settle this here and now. I'm on my vacation time, all right? You tell me how you want to do this, and let's get this done. You wish to act as your own lawyer? That's okay. Okay. You're making a mistake. I've made them before. Nothing to be scared of. Now, what is the thing? You're going to jail for dissing a congressman. Get out of line and be shaking like you got Parkinson's. Run up on the judge and your sentence gets longer. You keep playing games and your anger will go stronger. You're going to jail for a dissing important figure. When in court you'll have less power than your finger. Mom, what's going on? Now what? You may present your case. It's my turn to speak? Yes. This guy lifted my tip off the table. I did not. And I asked him. What was that act? He stole my tip. I rest my case. I asked you to replace it. He did not. And two, I called upon the customers to help me out. That's the beginning and the end. And that's what occurred. Now, are we free to leave? Can we go now? Can you prove that he took your tip? No. You cannot? No. The only proof is that I saw him. We will now consider this case. Mom, do we have time to make the bus? Just barely, if he does this quick. Here are my feelings. This has gotten out of hand. I think it can be settled quickly, as we all have better things to do. 
I think that a simple apology will suffice. I'll accept that, Your Honor. I noticed that you didn't say that he had to give back my tip. There is a principle involved, but I'm willing to forget that in the interest of getting out of town. Okay, let's go. We can just make it. And I will waive that principle and accept the congregant's sincere apology. Also, he has to say he'll never do it again. You misunderstood me. You'll have to apologize to him. What? You will have to apologize to the congressman. For what? For maligning his reputation. He stole my tip. We have no way of knowing what he might have done except your word. His reputation, which is a weighty thing, is at stake. And rather than prolong this and to allow you to catch your bus, if you will just state that you could have made a mistake. I object. Excuse me. If you will just say that you could have made a mistake, this case will be closed and you can go to Yellowstone. You want me to say he didn't steal my tip? I do that and we can go? Yes. What if I don't say that? You will go to jail. Hmm. The choice is yours. What do you choose? And I would remind you that you have but five minutes to catch your bus. Well, this seems to be the crux of the whole matter here. I will say so. What do you think, kid? This guy stole my tip, and if I lie, we can go free. If not, it's your trip. You tell him, mm, nah, that's ridiculous. What am I going to do? Teach my kid his mom's a liar for the sake of expediency? He wants to go camping. So he won't go camping. That's not under my control, and I never promised him that I was superhuman. All that I told him was, I tell the truth. And so? Take me to jail and be damned with you. He stole my tip. What kind of mother are you? You're going to be a convict. Hey, I'd rather be me than you. You promised the child you'd take him camping. Mama. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. And so Winnie was taken to the jail. And they took her picture and her fingerprints. And they gave her a uniform and put her in a cell. You want to play gin? Don't bother me. And she was full of longing for her son, whom she missed, and she was worried about him, and she thought about him. First night is the hardest. I'm sure that's true. It is true. How long are you in for? I don't know. To apologize. And we were supposed to be camped out beneath the stars. How long are you in for? Can you keep a secret? No. What is that supposed to mean? Nobody can keep a secret. If you don't want me to know your business, don't tell it to me. We're breaking out. What does that mean? We're breaking out of jail tonight. Swell. Stop, stop. Look, I just, I was just sitting in my cell. <laughs> oh gosh! And so Winnie ran from the prison along with the other convicts.